I'm Annette Cluet. In our last demo, we showed how to backup and restore an application and data running in OpenShift using Trilio Vault. But what if you experience an OpenShift cluster failure? Today I'm going to show you how to use Trilio Vault for Kubernetes along with OpenShift container storage to backup an application on an OpenShift cluster and then restore that application to an alternate cluster. In order to do that, I want to take a look at the application I'm going to backup and restore. So the application is WordPress, and WordPress is using MySQL for persistent data. If we look at the first cluster, we can see the project and what's in the project. Search for WordPress. And if we take a look at the WordPress namespace, we have a couple of pods, PVCs, and other services. The PVCs were created using OpenShift container storage, and we can see that they are five gigabytes each. So now let's go ahead and look at how we would actually do the backup. So we can use on the first cluster, the Trilio console, Currently, it is selected for the WordPress application. So let's start the backup. So we will first need to create a backup plan. And I'm going to just name my backup plan. We then need to choose the target. The target is an S3 bucket on AWS. We then need to add a policy. So we're going to, for the full backup, we'll do it once a day and we'll do it at midnight. So we'll save that. And then for each incremental backup during the day, choose hour and we'll select to do it every four hours. We'll save that. The other thing we want is how many backups do we retain? So we'll add a new retention policy and we're going to say, keep the latest backup and let's do, let's keep four backups. Save that. Then we select that policy, save backup plan. We need to then name our backup. and we need to choose the plan that we just created. So then we'll save this. As soon as we save it, the backup is started. And we can go ahead and keep track of it here. It says in progress. So we can go to view details. So in a short time, the backup will be done and it will show an available status. So at that point, we can close out of here. And now what we want to do is we want to restore to an alternate cluster. So let's look at this cluster. It also has Trilio Vault for Kubernetes installed as an operator and OpenShift Container Storage, also an operator. And let's look at the projects. When we go down and look at the resources, there is basically nothing in the project. So we've created essentially an empty namespace called WordPress. So now we want to go to the Trilio console for our second cluster. This is our second OpenShift cluster. We're going to try and migrate or restore WordPress now to the second cluster. The way we do that is we'll go to the left here and we can see that we do have also a target. The target again is an S3 bucket on AWS and it's actually the same exact same bucket as the one used by the first cluster to do the backup. So we're gonna go ahead and launch the browser. It's going to look for any backups that have been done and we see that we do have one backup 
So we'll go ahead and select this backup. What we need to do now is we need to restore and we can go ahead and name our restore. We want to tell it the namespace that we want to restore it to. And we want to skip if things already exist. For example, because we're using OpenShift container storage on both OpenShift clusters, the storage class to create the new PVCs is already going to exist. So we'll hit next, save. So the restore has now started and we can monitor that restore. So we can see there is a restore going here in progress. So as we watch it, it will continue to show us the progress. And we also have a log here that we can watch. And it looks like actually we have completed. So let's take a look at our application again. And on cluster two, where we, as you remember, had no resources. And now we can see that we have two pods, two PVCs. These are exactly the same as the original cluster. And if we go back to the project resources, we can see that we also have a route here. And when we bring it up, we see that it is the same WordPress site, and we can go ahead and browse our articles here. So we have the same two articles that we had on the original site. So we have now shown that we can restore from a backup from one OpenShift cluster to another cluster. All of the persistent data is retained, and all of the OpenShift resources are recreated as they were on the original cluster. Thank you.